Eisen here is going to power back up. So oh, yeah, full. okay. Yep. So that's it. So the sound you hear right there is actually the automated transmission popping out into neutral. Okay. Matching up the, the speed of the motors and the transmission and putting it to the next gear. Okay. Does this have uh, regenerative braking? Sure does, yeah. So my foot's off the brake right there. Okay. It's actually slowing us down. Uh, we get to 10 to 20% of energy back depending on you know, how the driver's driving and everything else. Okay, very cool. And this vehicle actually does mimic a hill hold assist as well. So if you're sitting on a hill, oh, okay. you, can, you can let, and you let your foot off the pedal. As soon as it detects that it's rolling backwards, it'll actually start creeping forward. So the same creep as a, as a little right here, it starts, it's going to start to keep pulling forward. That's right. Don't miss this light. But. Yeah. So how are you monitoring the, uh, the battery charge? Is that just still through the fuel gauge? Same fuel gauge. There? Okay. Absolutely. Yep. So. Uh, obviously, Packard has not made us a nice fancy gauge here with a nice electric battery on there. Right. It does have the same diesel pump signal, but yeah. uh, we, we send a message to, to the instrument cluster here to uh, put that blank amperage. Like I said before, when this thing's actually empty, there is some more energy left in those batteries. And that's just keeping the energy of the vehicle. Driver runs out of energy here, it's just like running out of diesel on a, on a diesel truck, your vehicle will stop. Okay. Now, a technician can go out there and do a temporary override to get the vehicle off the road or move to a charging station. Uh, but to a drive, there's no controls on the to, to a driver that once he's empty, he's empty. Okay. You know, it's, we don't want them to think that, oh, I have this, you know, magic button here right, that can, or... you know, an extra little bump. That's amazing, the complete stop, you know, it just feels like it's off. Yeah. There's none of the idle or any of the, yep. the roughness there. Yeah, I would have loved to have a, a trailer and actually pull a trailer on this thing out here. But. One thing that does happen a lot is that, you know, some of the drivers will say, well, it's making so much different noises and, you know, something loose or something like that right. turns out to be... Yeah, they're not used to it yet, huh? They're just not used to it. And, yeah, okay, you can hear the transmission shift. This is a standard Eaton transmission that does the same exact thing with a diesel. It's just you can't hear it. Right. <laughs> It is funny though, it does make the, uh, you know, like the futuristic, you know, car driving sound that you see in all the movies, the whirring, it's like, okay, that's cool.